Right, let's look online for Boris. Let's see what Boris is up to. Oh, no, fuck it. Let's go on Google. Let's do it properly. Let's go on Google. Let's see what he's up to. Oh, I can't have a history now, bro. Can't have a history. Oh, no, bro. Can't be doing it. Oh, fuck. I don't know how to do this. Let's do guest. Guest, mate. I'm a guest on the web. I'm a guest online. I'm a guest online. Boris Johnson. Let's see what he's up to. Boris, mate, what are you doing? He's heading to Berlin and Paris. Brilliant, mate. Boris is expected to make a diplomatic dash, blimey, to meet Emmanuel Macron in Paris and Angelia Merkel in Berlin, lovely, early next week as he seeks to break the Brexit impasses. Crikey, that's a cracking first paragraph, eh? The Prime Minister who has yet to leave the UK to meet any of the EU leaders since entering Downing Street. We'll speak to the Irish Prime Minister, Leo Vardikar and Donald Tusk, the European Council President, by phone. The Guardian understands. Do you know, Guardian? Do you understand what's going on here? What's going on? He's tuxed earlier this week that he would be a special place in hell for politicians who had championed Brexit, even though that's what people voted for. Without a sketch of a plan, crikey, as to how to make it a success, it was widely seen at the time as a reference to Johnson. Crikey, that's mighty bold of you to say I might. The, f the flurry of talks comes before next weekend's meeting in, fuck that, of the G7. The leaders of the world's biggest economies. Crikey, that's large. Where diplomats expect Johnson to be given a reality check as he seeks to lobby EU to ditch the Irish backstop. Bloody hell, I might. EU diplomats said Johnson would be in Paris on Tuesday, in Berlin on Wednesday, although the dates are yet to be formally confirmed. UK government sources declined to comment, but Whitehall officials play down any hopes of a breakthrough, eh? As Johnson prepares to make his European tour, a leaked paper from the German government suggested that his insistence that the UK will leave the EU on the 31st of October with who without a deal has so far failed to prompt a rethink in Brussels and the European capitals. A document prepared by officials for the German finance minister Olaf Scholz before it talks in Berlin the missing a space here mate what the fuck are you doing mate? In Berlin on Friday with the Chancellor of the Exchequer Exchequer Saji David stress the importance of holding out against any resignation despite Johnson's tough negotiating position. The paper makes it clear that while the German government does believe that the Brit 
British government will carry out its threat, the EU still has no intention of returning the negotiation table on Johnson's terms. Leaked to the German newspaper, Handelsblatt. Or oh, the good two comers, what the fuck are they playing at, bro? The German officials who drafted the paper warning instead of a highly probability of a no deal a Brexit on the 31st of October, as it is currently unforeseeable that the Prime Minister Johnson will change his thoughts negotiating position. But he adds that the EU's preparations for it are largely complete and the bloc should hold its nerve. Following his meeting with the German Finance Minister, David Bonson tweeted, Enjoyed meeting Olaf Schulz in Berlin today. The UK will definitely be leaving the EU on October 31st. It is not in our mutual interest to do so with a deal, but we will be ready to leave the EU with a no deal, no deal of Brexit, eh? The EU is predicating a big moment for Johnson at the forthcoming G7 summit in Biarritz. Biarritz. The leaked paper ads at the Prime Minister speaks to boil on the pressure of the bloc's leaders. Against this background, it is important from the EU perspective to stick to the previous line of refusing to renegotiate with the withdrawal agreement. The paper says it adds that the EU27's unity in adhering to the negotiated exit agreement is vital. After a meeting, between EU diplomats and Johnson's EU advisor David Frost this morning, Brussels is also unconvinced that ditching the backstop would deliver a majority in the Commons for a new deal. Frost is understood to have insisted that a deal was only possible if it included the removal of a backstop which would keep Northern Ireland in a single market and the whole of the UK in a customs union to avoid a hard border on the island of Ireland. The Ireland of Ireland, the Ireland of Iceland, the Iceland of Ireland, eh? However, he told the EU officials that this alone could not guarantee the revised deal being gratified by Parliament. A number of Tory MPs in the 70-strong European Union of a research group. European research group have said that they want the entire withdrawal agreement to be ditched. Blimey, that's a lot of words on a page. And that's Boris Johnson 